Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have another update on the PSOPB server emulator project. On a, another back-to-back -back update almost. And today I'm just going to be demonstrating some small things. Recently, I became not lazy and fixed uh, the character data in games. So, a long time ago you were blobs in lobby, and you were still blobs in the game, but not anymore. No more blobs. No more blobs anywhere. And I also worked on rewriting a game config library of mine that allowed me to introduce character specific customization. And um, when I say customization, I mean configuration. Customization of your configuration. So let's take a look at the action palette, or as most people call it nowadays, the action bar in many games. And let's go ahead and customize it. And before, if you did this, well, you would log back in and nothing would be there. So, to demonstrate that that now saves and persists, let's go ahead and log out and log back in. Now that we're in the lobby again on our character, let's go ahead and join the party. And take a look at our action bar. What you can see is now persisting through game sessions. All thanks to a significant rewrite of the game config library, an open source library I'm using for, well, game configuration, players and accounts across multiple projects. So that's going to be it for the video today, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it's not the most exciting thing, but maybe something as exciting will come up soon. Hope to see you in that video.